What's up my reefing peeps, this is Cywar, and for this review we're going to look at the Aquaramade app which I use to track my tank. Before we get started, I just want to say thanks for checking out my channel. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more of my awesome content, make sure you subscribe. So let's get into it. Aquaramate is an app that's available on iOS and Android devices, as well as Mac OS X and Windows. It's offered in two versions. The standalone version costs $9.99, and the cloud-based subscription version is an additional $9.99 a year. Which, in reality, isn't that expensive when you consider what we have invested in our tanks and the capabilities of this app. For the standalone version, you can only use the app on one device. But with the cloud version, you can access your account from any device, anywhere. Also, this app supposedly has Apex connectivity. So, what can this app do for you? You can track your parameters, schedule reminders, track your tank's livestock, maintain a list of equipment for your tank, set up a wish list, keep notes, track expenses, back up all your data so it won't get lost in a computer or a phone crash, and that's just a few of the features this app has available. Oh, and did I mention, you can do all of this across multiple tanks, saltwater and freshwater? So let's check out some of these features individually. For the parameters, you can keep track of the standard array of testable elements, ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, phosphate, calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, salinity, and pH. Then, once you have these parameters logged, you can head over to the statistics portion of the app, select what parameters you want to graph, and then check it out in a graph form. This allows you to see trends or patterns in your parameters. This is an awesome feature that I use a lot. The next feature is tasks and activities. With how complex our reef tanks can get, there's a lot of maintenance that needs to be done, not only on the tank itself, but also on the equipment we use to sustain these small oceans. With Aquarimate, you can create new tasks to remind you. You can name the task, schedule it, repeat it, set a start date, and set the time you want to be reminded. This is incredibly handy, especially if you have multiple tanks with different regimens. The next main feature of this app is timelines. I'll be honest, I don't use this feature. But, according to the Aquarimate website, it says this feature can visually track the health and growth of your tank inhabitants and equipment chronologically by taking photos and notes. Additionally, this app has a sub-menu with what I'll call sub-features. Here you can see all the sub-features available. I'll go into the ones I think are important. Within the Aquara base, there are hundreds of fish, coral, inverse, and plants to choose from. Each item has basic information, such as scientific name, care level, whether it's reef safe or not, and a brief description. From here, you can add the item to your wish list, or add it to the list of livestock in your tank. For this part of the app, the only thing I wish it did better is regarding common names. Here, let me show you an example. Under corals, there's a list of zoanthids. Now, I know there's a million different kinds of zoas, almost too many to name, but here it lists all of them as a singular scientific name rather than listing them as rastas, eagle eyes, or purple hornets. For us as consumers, not scientists, it's easier for us to walk into the LFS and say, hey, I want some rastas. So, in this regard, I wish the app would cater a little more to the consumer in us and not the wannabe marine biologist. Next is the livestock sub-feature. Under livestock, you can add new and track existing livestock in your tank. The livestock sub-feature is tied into the Aquara base, and you can pull from existing information when adding new livestock or customize your entry. Also, there's a sub-feature to add equipment as well. However, there is no database to pull from. All the equipment is custom added by you. The rest of the sub-features are pretty self-explanatory. Food and supplements, wish list, expenses, which I don't know why anyone would want a record of what they've actually spent on their tank. That's just asking for trouble if your significant other ever gets a hold of that information. It also has notes, a calculator, and a photo gallery. So what do I think about this app? I think it's great. I would highly recommend picking this app up. It's well worth the money. It's loaded with features, half of which I haven't even scratched the surface of. And you can't argue the convenience of having all this information at the tip of your fingers. I can't tell you how many times I've been at the LFS talking to one of the people working there, and he says, well, what are your parameters? 
and I whip out my phone and it's all right there at my fingertips. So spend the 10 bucks. If you're still tracking your reef tank by writing your test results down in a notebook, you're living in the stone age. Get with the times, you'll be glad you did. Well, that's all for this review. If you like what you heard and saw, hit that thumbs up. If you wanna see more awesome reviews, don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. Stay salty.